Hi there, I got some free notes for you guys that you can use with visual scripting in Unity. Now the story of these notes uh, started over two years ago and I made these notes for a video where I was trying to improve performance of visual scripting. Since that video I did upgrade my PC so the results are going to be different than they were before but let's run a test. So that's visual scripting how fast it runs and this is my notes how fast they run. Recently someone's asking about these notes on Discord. So I decided it's a good time to visit those again and maybe get them out there. As you can see, the for loop at the top right here, it runs about 20 times faster than the original for loop. So those numbers are very impressive. And before you start using these nodes, I need to explain why the performance of the for loop is so much better than the visual scripting compared to the other improvements. Some of them are about twice faster and some of them don't have much improvement in speed. The for loop is the one that has the biggest change. And if we take a look at the nodes themselves, so this is the for loop that comes with visual scripting and this is the for loop that I've created. So here they look exactly the same except the icon. Now the reason why the performance of the node that are created is much faster is because of the values that are passed in here. To see how they're different, I'm going to show you an example where the functionality is different and how I was able to get that much improvement. So here I have a setup for both for loops and this test is only focusing on this step right here. So when you start the for loop, it is started with one and then for each of the loop, it adds one more so with this setup, the step value is going to be incrementing for each iteration inside the loop. And if I run it, you can see that the list that was generated by the original for loop is different than the list that was generated by my for loop. So if you're planning to do something like this, increment the step inside of the for loop, that's where this loop is going to give you what you're looking for. Now, by dropping that support in this for loop, I was able to get 20 times the speed. So if you're not looking for incrementing your steps inside a for loop, this for loop is definitely what you should use wherever you need for loops. Now, you might have questions about the other values as well. So last and first. And my original thought was that this last value would be treated the same way for the for loop inside here, but it's actually not. To demonstrate that, I have another test right here. And if I increase the value to 10 now, so I'm going to go from 0 to 10. And in here, it's decreasing that 10 value. So you expect it to have only five values inputted there. But if you run it, it actually checks that value only once in the beginning and it never checks again afterwards. So I'm not sure what was behind the decision making of supporting changes in step but not supporting changes in last but th that is how it is. Now if you want your for loop to actually have the support for changing step and changing the last I left the code here where you can actually modify the for loop. So currently what it does it remembers each of these values stores it temporarily right here and then it inside the for loop it's just using those values now if you want to read those values each time you increment the for loop you can uncomment this section right here and this will support the read of last and also read of step so i'm going to save this and run it and we can check the speed comparison with that so let's run this test so that's visual scripting results and this is my node results. So you can see that it is still almost three times faster than the original one. So I'm not sure where they are losing the performance there for that for loop. But again, with that change that I just did, this for loop supports the change in last and change in step values. This one only supports the change in step. The other nodes didn't really have that much performance improvements. So the other two nodes that I would consider using is actually early noise so it looks like it ran twice faster than the original one and then also random range is running about four times faster but I'm gonna leave all of these nodes there for you available so that you can see some examples and if you want to create your own custom nodes or something like that you can use them as a starting point
I'll put a link to my Patreon page where you can download them for free, but if you want to support this channel, you can do that as well. The way you add the nodes is you drag that Unity package in your Assets folder and then click Import. That should add the SPNC folder right here with the nodes and then you want to go to Project Settings and under Visual Scripting click Regenerate Nodes. Okay, so after that is done you should be able to go to your graph and when you search for nodes there should be another folder SPNC and you can find the nodes that are available in here. Click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.